everybody and welcome to another episode of Nerd Box News and on today's episode we are talking about two more Terrifier 3 collectibles that are being released by movie theaters and we're also going to talk about how you, yes you, can influence the type of merchandise that we get for Terrifier 4 in the theaters. Hey everyone, it's Dave. Thank you for clicking on this video. Don't forget to drop a like and comment on this video. It's really important this time and we'll talk about why at the end of this video. We'll get now, before we dive into what's coming next, I wanted to take a step back and look at how we got here because there are some people that are just becoming savvy to a popcorn bucket and cup combo coming to Cinemark and don't know about anything else that's coming. And I'll answer some questions that might be bugging some of the people out there about the popcorn head bucket itself. Now back in May, we set out on a mission to get the slasher of the people on a popcorn bucket by starting a petition, which quickly gained traction. In fact, we got almost 15,000 signatures within a month or so. And from there, I was able to have conversations with people at Scarepros, Trick or Treat Studios, Cinemark, getting a price on sculpting understanding that there was a license that was going to be needed to be bought in order for Cinemark to proceed with what they want to do. So I took all of that information, wrapped it up, sent it over to the boys over at Fuzz on the Lens, and I declared our petition a victory. Now, we didn't have a definitive answer that we were getting a popcorn bucket that, at that time. I just didn't want people spending more money on the petition to broaden its reach. So we had gotten a lot of information at that point, passed it on, crossed our fingers, and hoped that we would have gotten some. And what do you know, within a few weeks, we get our first announcement from Cinemark that they are releasing a popcorn bucket and cup combo for 20 bucks, which is available in select theaters on September 27th. Then, some time passes by, and what happens next? We get the announcement that we're all waiting for. It is the Santa Art popcorn bucket head which is retailing for $35 and is available for pre-order on the big three movie theater websites AMC, Cinemark, and Regal. So go there now if you haven't picked one up it's still there. That pre-order is going to run to October 22nd and guess what? You can buy as many as you want. There's no fighting over it this time and there's no having to deal with scalpers buying them all up and then charging us triple the price. But even though we got the popcorn bucket, there's some gripes that have popped up, and they're rightfully so. If you don't know the whole situation of the story, you have a good reason to be kind of myth. Because these popcorn buckets are not shipping until next year, which is February and March. So you're not going to have them in time for the movie, you're not going to have them in time for Christmas, but there's a good reason for it. As we mentioned in a few previous videos, it takes 9 to 15 months to get FDA approval for food products. And then you tack on time for them to come up with the design and approvals with Damien or a studio to say, hey, look, this is what we're going to go with. Now let's go ahead and ship it over to the FDA. That's like a two year span. And you guys, by signing the petition, took that two years and crunched it up into four months. So that's a huge accomplishment. But that doesn't mean we can skirt around the FDA, right? There's still some processes that have to take place. And also having a long pre-order going to the 22nd to ensure that everybody has a bucket. You can't complain. Well, maybe you can complain, but hey, at least we're getting something, right? Instead of nothing. Now, some of you may be thinking, it's like, well, Cinemark's releasing something to the theaters. Well, that's a standard bucket and cup. It's something that they've had for many years, that design, and they just put a new skin around it and shipped it out. So that's why we're getting those in the theaters. But enough of that recap. Let's talk about the exciting news to come. And that is Danny and myself yesterday had the sculptor of the Art to Clown bucket on our show yesterday. Christian Chex Hernandez. Now you may be familiar with a lot of his works over the last year and a half that we've seen pop up in the movie theaters. But this guy here, He's responsible for the popcorn bucket boom. This man developed the ghost face popcorn bucket head that had people traveling to neighboring states to find it and calling all hours of the night to Cinemark to get these popcorn buckets and then seeing them spike up in price only for Cinemark to respond with Snapco, which is where Checks works, to do a pre-order 
to get everybody a popcorn bucket. So that was well received. And now we have the madness that we have today with tracking down these popcorn buckets. And then of course, if you throw Art the Clown in there and all the madness that he creates with getting his merchandise, it's a perfect storm of chaos, if you know what I mean. Now we'll be releasing the interview hopefully tomorrow, or if not, in the next few days, part one will drop and then part two will drop next week with checks. And we're going to be going over the creative process behind bringing this bucket to the market. We're going to talk about his love for horror movies and for collecting horror merchandise. He's one of us, guys. He's not a suit. He is a horror fan that designs merchandise that he would put on his own shelves. So bravo to him. We're also going to talk about if somebody's creative and they do this on their spare time, how they can possibly get into the business. Now you can check out a part of that interview right here. As the fans demanded it, we had proof that the fans wanted something like this. I'm a fan myself, so, you know, just to kind of be in this world of, you know, making sure that the fans are heard uh, is a very important thing to me as a designer. I always want to make sure that whatever I do, be it you know the scream bucket pennywise beetlejuice no matter what it's there it is it's it's there's an angle that is in it most importantly for the fans it's not a merch play when it comes to me i'm not just trying to be like checking it off the list as something you know the next merch item for you to buy i want it to be something special and art the clown deserves its place alongside all of the greats this was orchestrated solely by you in that petition i i don't see why it would you know hurt us in any way to get the fans involved again uh -huh. and say hey you know what what did we get wrong what did we get right what do you want better what do you want more of and let's give it to you and just as we are wrapping up that interview yesterday checks drop a bomb on us we love you guys talk yeah. to you soon you know what I'm so sorry. I have one thing. Oh. I have one oh. one surprise. I was given permission to announce something with you guys. <gasps> I, I don't. How did I forget this? Oh. Now I don't have I don't have details as to where. So keep your ears out. But these have been confirmed. So I will say that. Oh my no. God. <laughs> Hey, that is cool. So, wow. uh -huh. so get ready because we got we got some fun stuff coming for you guys. So, oh, man, I, I'll that, leave it at awesome. that. I'll leave it at that for you and your family. That is awesome. So there you have it, folks. We are getting Terrifier three souvenir cups, one as Santa Art and one as Art himself, and those are going to be available online for pre-order, possibly at those big three theaters. The announcement is coming in the next couple of days, so be on the lookout for that. I'll try to get it out there on social media or our Facebook page, and then I'll update everybody through the Change.org email if you sign that petition. So be on the lookout for that, and oh boy, I can't wait to add that to my collection. Now, on to the second piece of news. We recently had it confirmed that Terrifier 4 is indeed going to happen. And this gives everybody that unique opportunity to have their voice heard once again because what you can do is help influence what the movie merchandise is going to be for Terrifier 4. And there's a couple ways to do that. First, go out there, order your pre-orders of the bucket, the cups, go to Cinemark on the 27th, get your combo. So let's sell out that merchandise. So that Snapco and Damian Leone and the studios say, hey, look, we did this for Terrifier 3 on short notice. Imagine what we can do with a year or two years notice. Second thing is you gotta like and comment on this video and here's why. Just like we did with the petition and spreading the word, we wanna spread the word on not only what's coming next, but how people can do this. And that is by sharing this video so people understand that when we drop the interview with checks, I want all of you to come out there, drop a like on that video, and comment on what design you would like to see on a popcorn bucket. Yes, people are going to be looking at those comments to see what ideas that you have so that they can possibly bring that to the market for Terrifier 4 when that comes to theaters. So if you have an idea like seeing 
Art the Clown's head covered in blood and you want popcorn in it, you want to go to that interview video and drop your comment there. We brought up on the interview the decapitated head from Terrifier 2 and a lot of people wanting that. That idea is under consideration, but here is where you, again, can speak up and demand a type of popcorn bucket and cup combo that you want to see for Terrifier 4. Now me, personally, I want something that I've seen for years on social media every Halloween. That is the adult Happy Meal from McDonald's that is horror themed. Why not have a popcorn bucket that is Terrifier 3 and looks like a Happy Meal? Or functions as a Happy Meal and comes with some other neat little goodies inside? This is where, again, you can speak up and influence what comes next because Chex expressed this several times in our interview where they're listening to fans, they want to give fans what they want, so here is your unique opportunity to speak up, have people see what you want, and possibly have it delivered in time for Terror Fire 4. So again, that interview is going to drop probably tomorrow, if not a day after that. I'm running late with getting this video done and then editing it and then editing the next one. Part two will be next week, so be on the lookout for both of those. And then don't forget again to like this video, comment on it, share it. Let's get the word out that not only do we have two new cool items that we can get for Terrifier 3, but there's that opportunity again to get something special for Terrifier 4 with having a year to two year window. Anyway, that's all for this news episode and I'll see you on the next.